Welcome to the F Word. I've got a new restaurant. But all the dishes on the menu are still things that everyone can cook at home. And to prove it, I've thrown all the professional cooks out of the kitchen and replaced them with passionate amateurs. All I want you to do right now, big boy, yeah, is fucking wakey wakey a little bit, yes? Take the oil off the stove quickly. Oh, me. What are you doing? Each week is a different brigade, and they better be bloody good because we've got 50 paying customers. The last three tables have been perfect. That's shit. So they don't like it, they don't pay. It's as simple as that. No, and then what do you think of me if I let you send that? You're going to think I'm a right fucking arsehole. Also this series, I'm searching out the very best of Bridges' ingredients. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Now you are a very luscious bacon sandwich. Oh. Look at you. The Good evening. Welcome. Have any of you ever actually spent a day in a proper restaurant? No. 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 Never. 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 Fuck me. Please oh, yeah. do not fucking let me down. Yeah? Definitely. Let's get cooking. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. Up. Uh, how is everybody? So far so good? So far so yeah. good. Is the wine flowing? Yes, starting. Yes. Just starting. Okay. On order, four covers, table three. Four salad of red mullet, four salad of lamb, four summer pudding. Yes, yes, chef. yes, Thank chef. Thank you. Nigel, four salad away, table three. How long? Uh, Give me a time. Seven minutes, chef. Yeah. The start is a simple salad of red mullet. The brigade's been shown how to make it, but to ensure they know what they're doing, I'm going to run through it one more time. Now watch. Hot pan. Potatoes are colouring nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Seasoning on the fish. Red mullet in. This takes literally seconds to cook. Watch. The red mullet's nearly half cooked, you can see it there. It's just sealed on the bottom, nothing more. But then, watch, you take them out, nice and gently. OK, watch. The dressing's a mixture of anchovies, garlic, olive oil, white wine vinegar and tarragon. Red mullet on, red mullet on. A little bit of salad in there, enough for three, and then drip. A little bit, nice and gently. Yeah. Pass the vinaigrette down, please, gently. Five, five covers, chef. Yeah, hey, I want it all nice. <laughs> now, make me fucking two more of them on your own, yeah? Hey, chef. Nigel, careful there's not too much salt on there, yes? Yeah, What's in the dressing? Anchovies. What are yeah. they? They're yeah. salty, be careful. Okay. Lawson? Yeah? I think that fish is burnt, yeah? I can see it from here. Turn it over. Turn it. Turn it over quickly. Oh, my God. So do it again? There you go. Let me ask you a question. Would you eat it? No, I'll start Would again. Would you pay for it? No, I'll, pay, I'll do it again. The brigade have got to get it right, because I've told the diners, if they're not happy, they don't have to pay. They may be cooking, but it's my reputation on the line. My name's Nigel. I'm a good cook. I'm a big lover of Greek and Portuguese food. I think I'll be able to hack it in Gordon's kitchen. He's a big man with a big personality. But so am I. My name's Robert Jones. This is my signature dish, and it's an award-winning long boat of lamb. To accompany that, I use an onion and garlic potato gratin and some roasted Mediterranean vegetables. My name's Kevin. The largest number of people I've cooked for is probably about 10 people in one sitting. So to go into Gordon's kitchen and cook for 50 is going to be a big challenge. My name's Lawson. My dish is a roast beef dinner, a nice thick gravy over the top, with a nice big Yorkshire pudding. We believe Gordon Ramsay is one of the best chefs in the country. We know that we're the best butchers in the country. We're entering into that kitchen to be the best of the series. That's our aim. Lawson. Yes? You're doing me three salad of red mullet. You've got four bits in there. Three twos are what? Six. You've okay. got four in there. Can I do your four for now? Sorry. No. So you want me to serve two at the yeah. table and leave one on their own? Oh. Come on. Fucking hell, guys. 
Ashley, listen, listen. You're just rushing. Calm down. You're, you're okay. You can do Jesus this. Jesus Christ down. almighty. Take it completely off the edge. You've got enough time. Just Service, please. Down. Think about what you're doing. Concentrate. One table each, yes? Robert. Yeah. It's not a race. It's about perfection, okay? okay? This is not a fucking bang it out, okay, and hope for the best. Now we put the food up. Are you happy with that? Yeah. You are, yes? You are, yes? Come on, another one. Yes, I am, yes. Yeah. Good. So you should be. Okay. Fuck off. Kathy Burke, please, yes? <laughs> no, Nigel, who spilled that? Hold on, stop, stop, stop. What's going on? The uh, pat's going on. Oh, come on. Come fucking on, guys. Hell. They're going to send us all on fucking fire. Watch out. Watch out. Take the oil off the stove quickly. Oh, fuck me. What are you doing? Lawson, just for five minutes, go and pick some fucking strawberries. Go out the back and fucking pick some strawberries. I think Gordon is right. I did panic. I was trying to do everything too quickly, too fast. I'll have to calm down and do things slower. Three minutes, Chef. Look at that. I'm gonna kill the first, yeah, but the first ones are immaculate, okay. yeah? And that's, per that's perhaps the worst fucking shit you've cooked so far in here. Robert, you can't be happy with that. I thought it would have cleaned up all right. You can't be happy with that, yeah. honestly. No, Chef. Because you know what? The last three tables have been perfect. That shit. OK, Chef. No and then what do you think of me if I let you send that? You're oh. going to think I'm a right fucking arsehole. It's an hour and a half since the diner sat down, and the last starters are only just going out. Anyway, to be honest, and what I really want to do is just pick it up and chuck it in my mouth. <laughs> but I've got a little bit to call, so I won't do that. It's really sort of succulent, light. I mean, a, a nice, light, flaky fish, and it was cooked just right. Gentlemen, good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good. Um, what's a matter with your starter? Kind of a bit bland. A bit bland, damn. Yeah. Red mullet is very delicate, so it's a very subtle flavour, slightly sweet, and a nice crispy skin. You're clearly not paying for that, are you? No. I'll make sure you pay for your main course, okay. trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no? I don't think so, I don't think so. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, darling. You all right? Mm, nice to see you. Very yeah. nice to see Good you. Good to see you. Now, I can't believe you're a fucking vegetarian. That's not true, is it? Well, no, I'm not a vegetarian, because I eat fish. OK, so not... But I don't eat meat. Right. I haven't eaten meat for 24 years. Any chance of having a little conversion later? No. Would you never eat meat again? No, I have tried, yeah. but I don't think my stomach can handle it anymore. Would you like to sneak with me behind the scenes and have a nice, lovely pink steak? The most amazing sirloin. I'll get round the back and chump some meat with you, Gordon. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> For you, special, I'm going to do the most amazing risotto, but don't tell the other fuckers, they all want it, OK? Special treatment. Very nice. Good to see you, my darling. I'll see like you later. Risotto. Huh? You don't like risotto? Not really. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Because when you're a veggie, uh, that's all you get given is risotto, but people's yep. houses for dinner and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I will no, try, cos you're cooking it. If you're unsure about the risotto, yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 but I've got an, an amazing thing to tell you, wild mushrooms. I want uh, you to be happy. Yeah, what I'd would like, you prefer? I would prefer the tanglitelli with wild mushrooms. Tanglitelli with wild mushrooms, yes. Yeah. Thank you yes, so much. Thank you. Oh, mm. okay. thank you. Be back. See you later. Jean-Baptiste, how many customers are okay. paying for their starter? 34. 34 are paying? 16 are not paying for the starter, 34 are paying for the starter. Why not for the other 16? The main reason is bland. Bland? Yeah. The fact they had to wait fucking 90 minutes couldn't have yeah. helped, you know that? It spoils the taste. Right? But I mean, you go to a restaurant and you sat there an hour later, you haven't got your fucking starter, it spoils the taste, like you said. There may be 16 customers out there refusing to pay for the fucking starter, but I want 50 customers wanting to pay for their lamb. So, Lawson, yeah? Yes. Get a grip, because right now, it's me plus four butchers that are starting to look a little bit fucking silly. Concentrate and don't send it unless we're fucking happy. We're already pissed off 16 customers. Bring it back. Next on the menu, a succulent stuffed saddle of lamb. Angela Griffin gets hot in the kitchen in the recipe challenge. I think you were up last night practicing till fucking midnight. I was practicing something, but it certainly wasn't cooking. <laughs> Will the butchers finally crack? Gentlemen, we've only served five tables, so get a grip, wakey okay, wakey, and Lawson, make some ground up. Do something for me, That's yes? Nice, Welcome back to the F Word. Now, in a few weeks' time, I'm going to be cooking roast pork, and I've started preparing the ingredients already. 
Before I do anything radical, I'm travelling to the River Cottage in Dorset to talk to Hugh Foley Whittingstall about growing my own special ingredient to be served in the F-word restaurant, pork. Hello, girls. Come on. Are they all female, these ones? Actually, two girls and a boy. Two girls and a boy. Have you Just named being them? Polite. No, I no. haven't named these. I don't name the piglets who aren't going to be around for uh -huh. too long. God, they run to you. Oh, huh? yeah. Well, they want their breakfast. God. What sort of pigs are you thinking of getting? I mean, I, I'm a big fan of these saddlebacks, but yep. and that's a popular local breed, but... Um, yep. We're looking at a rare breed. Yeah, so good. It's, sort it's of essential a... to keep these rare breeds alive. Yeah. Some near neighbours of mine had some barchers, and they had kids, they were good pigs, and they worked very well for uh -huh. them. Barchers are so, nice pigs. Yeah? Yeah. It's going to be a completely different fascination for the kids because this time round they're not going to be as cuddly and as friendly with them, I don't think. However... Well, I think you'll find they will get quite attached to them. Do you think so? Well, they're charming animals, pigs. Really? You, you don't want to underestimate the, the dangers of getting attached. <laughs> it's going to happen to you, Gordon. You might think I'm gone nuts, but it's going to happen to you. Yeah, absolutely. I also want to see how Hugh makes the most out of cooking every last bit of the pig. This really is nose-to-tail eating. Right from the back trotter here and the tip of this tail to the end of the nose, we, we use pretty much everything. Everything. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's the excitement of it. I mean, yep. it's so versatile. That's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Uh, and that, that is just a world away from commercial pork. Yeah. The colour, the yep. texture, yep. everything. And that would be the same on the Berkshires? Oh, absolutely. I thought the ears, we might make th these your special treat today. Ready? Yeah. Your first job might be to get the earwax out of the pig's well, But isn't it best just to clean his ears as he goes along? <laughs> <laughs> God, I have to say, this is a first, you know that. So we're going to singe the hairs off now? Yeah, Sorry. it's the best tool so, for the job. <laughs> With the ingredients prepared, Hugh shows me his recipe for Chinese-style pig's trotters and crispy pig's ears. <laughs> OK. Just lift that off. This is where the ears get a bit of an outing on their own. The special treatment, just, uh, just to celebrate, if you like, their rather peculiar but delightful texture. Do you cut them up or do you leave them off? Yeah, I'm going to cut them into little strips now. Right. I'm gonna, I'm like... Brush them in a bit of mustard. Uh -huh. And then press them nicely into the breadcrumbs. The extremities. Wow, thank you. My goodness. It's all from the head, the head and the trotters. Amazing how nice and crispy they are. Mmm. That is lovely. Do you think it's going to be a problem, sending the pigs to the slaughter? For your kids, who knows? They could get very attached to the pigs. Mm. Never stop talking about the food mm -hmm. that you're going to get from them. From day one? From day one. Make sure you get as much of that garden for your pigs as you can negotiate with your dear wife. Getting on for half of it. Half the garden? Certainly a third. The more space they've got, the happier they'll be, and you'll have the best possible pork at the uh, end of it all. But half a garden, you Christ. I mean, Tyler thinks it's going to be a little small pen. Your garden will be liquid mud. Will you do me a favour? <laughs> Call Tana. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We've got to pull this back now, guys, yes? yes, 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 yes I want yes, 50 yes. customers all agreeing to pay for their main course. Then we end on a high with a dessert. Robert, you team up with Lawson over there now. Nigel, you team up with Kevin and work as a team. Now, tonight's main course is a beautifully stuffed saddle lamb served with pom puree and caramelised red onions. Set up lamb. This has to be one of my favourite cuts because, look, you've got a double whammy, you've got two nice eyes of meat and these beautiful little fillets inside. A very lean meat, absolutely delicious. Toasted cumin, salt, pepper, grind. And then just rub it into the lamb. Cumin is a really nice way of bringing out the sweetness of the lamb. And then just mop it up. Stuffing. Apricots. That's it. Out. Pine nuts. Again, these pine nuts have been toasted, so we're just improving the flavour every time. Salt pepper. We're going to bind that together with a top of olive oil. And it's a really nice Moroccan feel. Fruity, fresh, fragrant stuff. It goes down in the centre. There. And the smell of those apricots and the toasted cumin is extraordinary. Get your fillets and run alongside the stuffing and just nice and tightly roll that over. Just look at that. Wrap parma ham. You've got this really nice marbling of fat running all the way through there that just gives the saddle of lamb so much flavour. Lamb down, you lift that up, over and roll. 
pull it nice and tight. Like we're making an amazing big Swiss roll. Just twist the ends opposite each other, in and out, in and out. If it's rolled evenly, it's going to cook evenly. Chill one hour. Unwrap, tie. A loop around the outside of the lamb, loop it round, and then slide it over the lamb. Olive oil. Into the pan. Salt, pepper. And the flavour of that cumin now, I can actually smell it. It's absolutely amazing. Hot oven, 40 minutes. It's important to leave the lamb to rest, so it just starts to relax. Therefore, it becomes a lot more tender. Remove string, carve. First one through. One slice. And look, beautiful lamb. And it smells so sweet. Delicious. Lamb with apricot and cumin, done. That cooking. OK, yeah. Robert, are we ready? With the lamb tonight, I'm serving sauté spinach with pine nuts, chilli and garlic, creamy mashed potato and caramelised red onions. This is a really nice thing to do with onions and it just makes it sort of a lot more classier, caramelised, and it's a really nice way of having it as a proper vegetable. Yeah, yes? Right. Let's go. We find the hottest part of the stove. Right, taste, please. Taste. A little bit of salt. And just a touch more vinegar in there, yes? Robert, how long for that first table, please? Um, I'm ready with, with mash. I'm ready with caramelised onion. I've just got to do spinach. Right, a little bit of garlic. Half a spoon of chilli. Sweat that off. Nigel, are we ready to go with five? How long? Two minutes. Five, just... just five no, no, minutes. come on, you've got to speed up now, Nigel. There's one table, we've got 12 behind, so... How long? Two minutes, Chef. Yeah, I mean, two minutes quickly, yes? Yes, Chef. Let's go, then, yes? Five, right. Yeah. I want you to come back on this one now, you know that. I want you to shine through I'm this fucking main course. Chef. Spinach on, a little bit of seasoning, yes? Just wilt the spinach, yes? Toss the spinach, yes? See how quick just, it could just, just, well, just, just lightly oil lightly, it. Lightly, yeah. I don't want it greasy, yeah? Yeah. OK? Five portions. Where are the onions? Good. Mashed potatoes. Come on! I'll show you the first one. Let's go. Get your fucking hands off my hands. Watch. Grub. Thank you. And just follow me. That's all. I'm not asking you to do anything difficult, Lawson. OK. No. But just all I want you to do right now, big boy, yeah? Okay. It's yeah. fucking wakey-wakey a little bit, yes? Like Watch. Don't sabotage it, OK? OK, then, Chef. Yeah. Right, straight edge knife. Watch. Stay with me. A little bit of seasoning on there. A little bit now, that's it. Good. Now watch. Come on, Lawson, for fuck's sake. Move down, you fucking donut. Huh? Where's your vinaigrette? Oh, come on, Lawson, fuck me. I'm here, I'm huh? here. You make a fucking snail look fast. Move your ass. come on. Right, Robert, watch. Now, on, and then just glaze. That's how I want it. That is beautiful. You're a butcher, it's nice and pink, yes? Yeah. One table down, 11 to go, and that's great. Now get a fucking move Thanks. on, yes? Go, okay. please. Okay. Go, okay. table six. And Lawson, <laughs> Lawson, <laughs> you think I'm here as your fucking dusty bin? Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, bollocks, mate. Move your ass. All the flavours in the spinach were really good, and the stuffing was lovely. Uh, the creaminess of the mash, I just loved it. The tartness of the onions, I thought it was great. I'd love to, I'd love to criticise it, but I can't. It was perfect. My ideal dish. Yes. Potato. And you're scooping it, aren't you? Just watch, just watch. Where's the spinach? Where's the onions? Come on, guys! Already Fuck it now. Let's go. Where's the spinach? What's all that burnt stuff in there? What did you burn? You burnt the chilli, all the black bits. Everything else is nicely done, but the chilli's all black and burns. OK, Chef. Yeah? Kevin, get some spinach on. Nigel, leave him to do that. You work on these plates. Come on. There's no point in cooking lamb perfectly, making the most amazing mashed potatoes, caramelised onions, and then we've got burnt spinach on there. Nigel. No, yeah? Chef, sorry. Start again. OK. So, OK, more potato on, please. Hello. Uh, how was the pasta? It was lovely. Yes. Very yes. nice. Now you're a serious foodie, yes? Yes. Well, I like to think. Well, I'm serious about food. Now everyone would assume you actually eat like way netter, but you're actually quite a fussy eater. You don't just scuff it down. You're quite no, 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 no. articulate when it comes I'm to good food. I'm very healthy. The reason why I'm a big girl is because I drink beer. Because mm -hmm. I love beer. Uh -huh. And what's your favourite beer? Stella. Stella. And do you get your beer goggles on? Do you get in there in a way that you 
really seriously Mate, it's off. the only time I've ever had any sexual satisfaction, really, <laughs> is when I've got the beer goggles on. No, no, no. No, I mean, but I don't drink as much as I used to, obviously. No. When I was younger, yeah. I could certainly drink the boys yeah. under the table. Now that you've, you've made it quite fucking clear that you hate Ponzi food. Yeah. Now, in your mind, what's the difference between good, honest tasting food and Ponzi food? What, what, when does it become ponzi -fied? When there's about that much of it and it all looks really pretty, right. but there's, there's a little pile about that high oh and God. that's it. Fucking hell. Do you think my food's Ponzi? Well, this is my first taste of your yeah. food. Yeah, when you finally came back in the fucking restaurant. When it finally arrived at the fucking table, mate. Yeah. But hold on, how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? Well, out there, waiting for me food, yes. about 20. Huh? Thanks, I'll go band it. Normally about 10. What would make you give up? If I got pregnant, which isn't going to happen now. Why? Because I don't want to get pregnant. You can get pregnant at your age, you're not that old. I don't want to get I'll pregnant. I'll do anything to make sure you stop smoking, you know that? <laughs> you're going to impregnate me then. <laughs> I've got a low sperm count. <laughs> After service, maybe, yeah, when all the customers have gone out. Well, what strikes me rather bizarrely is that all that fucking smoking you do all day long, all the lager you do all day long, mm. that means, in my mind, you've got a fucking palate like a cow's backside. So, I want to know how good your palate is. Right. OK, I'm going to test it. You're going to kiss me? Uh, uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Put your teeth back in first, I'll give you a kiss after that. <laughs> Later. So, blindfold. This is quite a, uh, this yeah, is quite a this moment. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've had this before. See, this is quite sexy. Ready? Right. Now, simple test, yes? Right. Very, very simple test, OK? What is it? Real or processed? Does it taste like it's been freshly cooked or does it taste like it's just come out of a packet? OK. So... What is that? Got no taste whatsoever. Uh-huh. So it's soft cheese, mm -hmm. like a dairy lee or... Mm -hmm. Have a taste. Oh, no. Go on. That's the fucking dairy lee. <laughs> And the other one was like one of your poncy cheeses. <laughs> that's got no taste. Absolutely right. The first one was a really nice slice of brie, and the second one was fucking Dairy Lee. Right. Right, here we go. You'll like this one. Mm. Give me your fingers. There you go. Have a taste. Is it proper food or is it processed food? Yeah, like a flat bit of breadcrumb fish or something. Mm -hmm. This one? You like fish? Yeah. The second one's a fish finger, isn't it? Which one do you prefer? <laughs> I suppose the second one. Cool, fucking hell. The first one was a really nice goujon of soul. Goujon and the goujon. second one... Goujon. You know, the second one was a fucking filio fish from McDonald's. Oh, Cathy. really? And I hate fillet of fish. Fucking hell. I never eat fillet of fish at McDonald's. I can't it, bear it. Right, here we go. Swill it down with this. Which one of these do you prefer? Mmm. Oh. Steady. <laughs> cool, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Here we go. Hey, you got to work tomorrow. Second one. <laughs> Numero uno. You like a little tipple, a special brew. Oh. <laughs> really? And what was the second one? It was a fucking quality lager, the second one. No, no. I a Czech the, lager. I preferred the special brew. And you like the fucking tramp piss. Listen, mate, uh, I'm a cheap date. What can I'm I say? I'm fucking believing. Take that off now, babe. Huh? Uh, well... Dear, oh, dear. The special brew. That was the fucking worry. The tramp's piss. I know. And especially when he started knocking it back, it started worrying me. I haven't drank the special brew for years. Um, I'm going to get back to the kitchen. All right, mate. Where's my pudding? Pudding's coming. Stop fucking smoking. Stay inside the restaurant and I'll get your pudding organised. All right, mate. Great to see you. Thank yeah. you. And stay off the tramp's piss. Yes? I know. I couldn't believe that Fuck special brew. I'm paying all that money for Stella. Just get special brew or tenants. That was without doubt the most succulent lamb I've ever had. I'm not going to have another one like that again, probably. When I cook lamb at home, it's OK for it to be a little bit pink in the middle, but this is rare. Look, there was blood coming out of it. It was completely underdone. I would have this again and again and again, and it's just giving me a whole insight how I've been doing my Sunday roast completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gordon Ramsay, I salute you. <laughs> OK, Jean Baptiste, results of the main course. Yeah. Please. OK, so people who were not happy with the main course, it's nine altogether. Nine so customers nine didn't want to pay for the main course. Want to pay for the main course, yeah. Main reason is um, undercooked and cold. So, a little bit too pink. 
slightly too pink. Were yeah. they from ladies, the complaints, or were they from men? I uh, both, both. Half, really? Half of it. Yeah. Which is a big difference from the starter. Yeah. 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 Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah, let's finish on a high. Yes, yes. And you, yeah. you know, to be honest, the desserts are summer pudding, so you can't really fuck that one. Yeah, okay, There's nothing cooked. Okay, okay. Let's go. Yes? Okay. Yeah? Next on the menu, a summer pudding with lime creme fraiche. I tried to get two fast food addicts to kick the junk. There's no food in there, it's all beer. There's some, huh? It's, it's three weeks old. Yeah. Just have a wee smell. Just have a wee smell. Yeah, be careful you don't get fucking bitten. <laughs> and Will Lawson pull it together. If you can do this all on your own, hey, big boy, tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up with the biggest hard on in fucking Birmingham. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to the F Word. Now, Angela Griffin's gonna take me on to the first recipe challenge in the series. Can she cut it in my kitchen? Yes, I can, most Move certainly. your ass. Mm. Get in there, girl. Right, the rules are simple. The challenger picks their best dish, and I have to try and beat that with my version. There is one winner. Of course there's one winner. And the winner is... Well done, <laughs> Get out. Kim and Aggie. Oh, get out. Oh, no, you're joking, aren't you? <laughs> so, lasagna. Lasagna. Where did you steal the recipe from? My fella, actually. Serious? Yeah. What's the secret a ingredient? Mixture of beef and lamb. Beef and lamb together? Yeah. Why? You just get a little bit of an extra taste in there. I like it in here. Yes? Yeah. You're the first person yeah. ever said that. They're always complaining how hot it was. I like the heat. Do you? Yeah. Just sweating off my vegetables, putting in some of um, my pancetta as well. Yeah. Putting a bit of oregano now. So how do you get into cooking? Because you seem very relaxed and very natural in a special environment. Yeah, you just take me into it. Because like... I really like it. And who got you into it? My mum, mainly because. She's not very good at it. Really? Yeah, and so I was kind of making my own food from when I was very, very young. What's the kitchen like at home? What's the kitchen like? Great. Although we're moving house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're moving house and I'm getting an arga. Oh, no. Do you it, hate argas? You're too fucking young to get an arga. No, I'm not. That happens not. when the bus pass comes. Janet Street Porter's oh, got one. don't say that. Don't say that. Jesus Christ. Don't, because we're moving out to the country and I'm a bit like, are we giving up on life by moving out there? You're or... far too young for an arga. Do you think? Yes. I started sweating off my vegetables. Tomatoes, onions, carrots, pancetta, mushrooms and garlic. But I'm sweating them off in olive oil and then adding some red wine. Reducing the red wine so it really gives a nice coat and glaze on the vegetables. You enjoy food a lot, yes? Oh, God. I bet there's not a Sunday lunch that goes by that you don't have some form of roast or something on hey, there. Hey, I'm a mean Sunday roast cooker, I've got Serious. to say, yeah. The most important meal of the week, would you not agree? What, Sunday? Sunday lunch. Yeah. Absolutely crucial. Do you sit down as a family? Yeah, and friends as well. We're God. very social, we like having our friends around a lot. Fantastic. That wrist action is extraordinary. My God, there's definitely going to be no lumps in there, is there? There really isn't, because I will cry if I have lumps in this. What's the secret ingredient? What do you oh, put in there? Oh, God, nothing. There must be something in there that's going to make... Oh, the love of my hand. Passion, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> the disciplined wrist. <laughs> and your amber decks as well, you're using both. I am, I've got to say, I'm finding that a little bit hard, but I'm styling it out, aren't I? So I'm just going to let my mints cook out there now and just... Is that the, the right season. colour? Sorry? Is that the right colour? It is the right colour. What I'm going to do now is just put some basil in there. Ah, so you put your basil in at the end. I'm going to put the basil right at the end, so it doesn't go all sort of, you know... But I quite like color. that. Does the, does the taste not just um, soak in if you put it in earlier on? Um, or do you think it just uh, dies? You look fucking sexy when you're Thank sweating you very much. Look at that. <laughs> Shit. Fucking hell. Are you putting yours together already? Yeah, of course I am. Oh, and you're going about 900 uh, miles an hour. Yeah, no, I'm getting nowhere. Come on, don't overcomplicate everything. Just OK. I you think you were up last night practising till fucking midnight. I was practising something, but it certainly wasn't cooking. Wait, get in there! <laughs> mince over and a really nice, generous dollop of creme fraiche in the mince. Mix that in in the last minute, and it gives a really nice richness to the mince. How are you doing, Ange? Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah? Oh, I love cheese. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Do you know what I really am? Huh? I know I shouldn't be, but I really am. I can't believe yours is ready. Right. Got some of my cheese mix. I've got absolutely yeah. loads. My darling, it's very kind, but that would be unfair because if I win, then I you've really provided half the recipe. Him completely flustered. <laughs> it was all quite jokey before. It's getting a little bit serious now. I really hate having a. I'm going to tidy up now because I can't bear having an untidy. God, you can't bear mess as well. Perfect woman you are. You know that. <laughs> huh? So, in she goes. Okay. 
Right, yours is in for 40, yes. Mine's going in for 20. Let's see what they look like and taste like when they come out of the oven, yes? OK. Confident? Oh, uh, absolutely, supremely. I'm more word. confident that you would make a fucking good chef, you know that. You're so passionate about food. I do love it, kid. I've set myself a challenge to get the nation cooking again. This week, I've come up with a curry that even the real-life men behaving badly can do easily. Sunday for us is just basically a day of slothing. We order pizza, open a beer, and just veg out for the whole day. We basically haven't moved on from university. We're still eating extremely unhealthily. We live in a house with, you know, there's five of us, and we never eat together. Gordon and Dave's culinary skills leave an awful lot to be desired. Uh, all I ever seem to see them eating is takeaway foods, that sort of thing. I'm having to live with both of them, and nothing but pizzas and curries are just like a pain in the backside, and I think it's about time that they moved on. If we don't make a change, I can imagine us uh, still sitting on these couches in 20 years, single, still eating garbage, but weighing like 30 stone and just having the worst life possible. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, Gordon. Well, you. Hi. This is... I'm Dave. Nice Dave. to meet you, Gordon. Good to see you. I am Gordon. What in the fuck is that over there? This is toast and patty with curry-flavoured super noodles. So tell me about the noodles. What have you done to the...? You measure out half a pint of yeah. water and then you put the, the powdered sauce on top. What a pile of shit. I don't think I'd feed that to my pigs, you know that? I've been in some fucking scary households in my time, but I've never, <laughs> ever quite come across this. From a chef's point of view, um, yeah. let alone, you know, girlfriend, position, work, I mean, that you should not be eating, I swear to God. I mean, cos that is just, like, fucking... Huh? Where's the fridge? Oh, my God! What is all that in there? Oh, fucking hell. Guys, there's no food in there, it's all beer. There's some ham. There's some... Good for sandwiches. Well, it was. It's, it's three earlier. weeks old. Yeah. Just have a wee smell. Just have a wee smell. Yeah, be careful you don't get fucking bitten. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's high. These yoghurts are now four and a half weeks out of date. A freezer packed full of pizzas. Yeah. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. When you come home at yeah. night, do you eat this stuff pissed? Yeah. We, you just basically eat anything that's in the house when we're drunk, so yeah. we're just... You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Two disgusting pigs that are fucking hibernating in Clapham. <laughs> Gentlemen, the first thing I'm gonna do, yeah, before we touch anything else, is I want a good fucking clean up. All the stuff is out of date, Gordon, in yeah, the bin, yeah. Good in the bin at all. Yeah. Pot noodle. Pot noodle. I think you can say goodbye to that. It's on his last legs, yeah, the Mexican chili. It's like an old friend. An old friend, yeah, get rid of it. This little array of takeaway menus, you can fuck without them, OK? Cos they're going in there <laughs> and they're staying in there, yeah? Yeah? Okay, this is the good day. Now we've cleared out the crap, I want to buy some proper food that still appeals to the guys. So this is a local parade of shops, right? Yeah. Here we go, this is one of our favourites. This is one of our favourite. Yeah. Yeah. one of our favourites. Yeah. It's very village. So when was the last time you were here? Hello. Hi, guys. What's the first thing Hi. you smell in here? What do you smell? Um, spaces. Something that can't go off. So we'll think of things like turmeric, or mustard seeds and fennel seeds. Lovely spices right, you've got. Well, how, do you how are you doing? Hi, yeah. he, does my Hi, yeah. he does my kebabs. He does your kebabs? Yeah. <laughs> You serve him kebabs. These people always come for the kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, three times, four times a week. <laughs> that's, a, that's a slight over a giant. That's an over Four times actually. a week, on top of the pizzas, the takeaway curries. Fuck me, we've got some work to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> right, we'll do something simple. Cool. Something that won't stress you out, and something can be done quicker than ordering a takeaway. A very straightforward, easy, Malaysian curry. We're going to make a curry paste. Right, OK. The most exciting thing about this paste is that you can make it the start of the week. Yeah. Use a bit of it and just keep it in the fridge. It's there, yeah. ready, like butter. OK, Dave, I want you to peel the ginger. Gordon, I want you to cut the chilies in half. Garlic, lemongrass and shallots. What we're going to do with these ingredients, we're not going to chop them all. We're just going to blend them into a paste. 
Bung everything in a blender, add turmeric and blitz. Then add a drizzle of ground oil and blitz again. Give a little shake. And that's your paste. Okay. Put a little smell of that in there. Oh, wow. Well. Get that all nice and hot. Yeah. And wash. A little bit in there and start cooking that out. OK. Now, once we start cooking off this paste, yep. then we're going to slice the onions, put the onions in. OK. Just look at the colour of that now. No. That's the little magic ingredient in there. Now, this is what it should be like at the weekend, you guys cook. You know that? Yeah? Yeah. How does it feel to be cooking? I'm actually feels good. really enjoying it. Really yeah. superb. How are they doing, those onions? Sweating down yep. nicely. Sweating down nicely, yep. See the way it's all starting to break down? Yep. That's ready now for the chicken. So, chicken. don't worry about burning your little fingers. All right. Yeah, on there like that, look. Down. OK, and start sweating the chicken down. So you decide to keep them on the bone garden rather than yep. keep them off? The reason why I'm going to keep them on the bone, OK, is as it's cooking, I don't want the chicken drying out. Coconut milk in, please. OK. Take your time. Good work. Then add a tin of coconut milk, followed by some stock, spices yep. and soy sauce. Now, one thing I haven't seen in here is anything sort of slightly healthy. So the yes. curry is going to be finished with some green beans. All right, OK. okay. We're going to finish it with green beans, but, hey, you can finish it with spinach, you can put broccoli in there, you can put cauliflower in there, you can put potatoes in there at the end, but you've got to start eating a little bit fucking healthier. Yeah. Uh, how could you compare that in your fridge? Standing next to that fucking roll of furry, sticky, stinky fucking ham. <laughs> I, no. I'm embarrassed about that. I'd yeah, be fucking I, embarrassed. I was embarrassed at the beginning about that. This has made me even more no, no. embarrassed. Just in case. How's it going? Here we go. Look at that. Oh, awesome. That wow. smells amazing. Uh, yeah. It's not a number 59. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell I'm living with we'll it. Right, we'll go for a beer. Mm. Pretty good? Mm. Mm. That's the healthiest yeah. food you've eaten in what? Quite That's delicious. Decades. For me, the most important message yeah, is for you guys to keep it up. Because yeah. you can slip back into your old ways. No, yeah. no, not at all. Yeah. And you're going to have a fucking pot belly bigger than my fucking pig in the back. <laughs> it's so nice to see you around the table. Cheers, yeah. 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 Uh, guys, can you do me a favour right. and stay around the table? Yeah. yeah. Cheers, guys. And, and stay off the fucking telephone ordering shit. Yeah. 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 Guys, yeah. Cheers, cheers. Good health. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Seriously, guys, let's do this more often. Stay. OK, Jean-Baptiste, tickets, please. Wait. Five summer pudding away, please. Let's yes, go. Chef. OK, thank you, Chef. This is a very classic, OK, summer dessert, yeah? Yeah. Rather than that stodgy, white, fucking horrible, anemic bread, we've got a really nice, tasty brioche, OK? Right, Nigel, just explain to me, yeah? I work and talk at the same time. Tell me what you're doing. Quick. Right, we've um, dipped the brioche into yep. a black currant coulis. Good. We then layer in it. Mm -hmm. With uh, fresh strawberries, yep. another brioche dipped it... in the coulis. Yeah, yeah. we'll be layering it with black currants, blueberries, and then it'll be uh, served with a creme fraiche with a lime zest. Good, 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 good. Let's go. Hey, Lawson, if there's anyone, yeah, in this country tonight that could set fire to that, it would be you. I okay, know, stay off the fucking stove. Let's go. Five. Good. Off. Right, raspberry brown. Good. Raspberry brown, like I've done. And always hit the centre of the plate, yes? And then with a coolie, watch. Just on the top. One there. And then One a little round. bit. What? Just a little bit. But don't, 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 don't fuck the plates up. Yeah, nice and gentle. Watch. A little bit there. And round. I asked you to hit the middle of the fucking plate. Look where yours is. Pardon, sorry? Oh, come on. Sorry, I mean, I can't... Lawson, I can't keep on saying it. OK, in the middle. Come on, Kevin, let's go. I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Why are your plates always so dirty? <laughs> Fucking hell. Robert, you get a hot spoon, and it's called a quenelle. Quenelle. Watch. So you get a hot spoon like that, and it just melts the cream. Don't get it too hot, otherwise it fucking slides off. Off. And then on. Yeah? No, no, fuck off, you do it yourself. Cool, dear. Service, please. The presentation was great, it looked like it was going to be really fantastic, but it was just a bit too acidic. I actually thought that was really nice, really, really nice. That's the best out of the three, I think. This last table, OK, I want you to do from start to finish and fucking finish on a high for me. Three summer puddings way. Let's go, okay. big boy, yes? OK, then. Yeah? Good man. OK, fuck me. On. 
That's good. Raspberries on. There. Get everyone looking like that. And we're going to end on a fucking high. It's Robert, off you go, yeah? Let's go. Make it work, Lawson. You owe this one to yourself. Let's go. Now, Lawson. If you can do this all on your own, hey, big boy, tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up with the biggest hard on in fucking Birmingham. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Thanks. Two seconds, go. Yes. Well, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry, they've got an extra bonus. Go. Yes. Service, please. Go. Table seven, yeah, quickly. Uh, Lawson, they look fucking beautiful so far, so don't fuck it up, please, yes? Lawson, can you hear me in there? Yeah, I can look yeah? Gordon, yeah. Is there anything in there between those ears? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Service, please. Okay, good. You, nice. You, well done. Start clearing down. Ooh, hey, fuck me. Hey, well done, big boy. You pulled that back there at the end, yes? Yeah. Yeah? I, I feel like I let my team down when I first Don't worry about that. We got there in the end. You hit me that. in the face. Yeah, all fuck me. I'm yeah. going to stay at it. Yeah. I'm going to keep working at yeah. it. I'm not going to bottle out. That last table was fantastic. Yeah? yeah. yeah clear down. Well done. Thank Up. you. Good boy. All right. Up. Cheers. Next on the menu is judgment time in the recipe challenge. Very, very close. Very close? Yeah. But um, the winner for today is... Yes. The brigade finds out what the diners really thought of their food. They're taking the piss. Some people moan about absolutely fucking anything. You know that. And it's time to christen the pigs. I want you to start thinking about some names. Either way, OK? Daddy, that's a banger. I think Trini and Susanna. Yeah, one's got a fat ass, one's got small nipples. Go back to the F word. Now she's calm and confident, but will the blind tasters prefer her dish over mine? Well. Ready? <laughs> Come on, then, kid. Get in there. <laughs> huh? Hello. How are you? Hello. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the red dish. Cute. Quite strong, strong flavour. Strong flavour. Strong mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, mushrooms are nice. The mushrooms are very, very nice. Mm. I'd probably could eat about half, half of this. Half a portion. Yeah. Half a portion, because mm. I think very, otherwise very it's just too rich. Pasta's a bit. Curled up the edges. Quite light. Carrot. Nice, yeah. Nice. The meat and the vegetables on. No, it's really, really nice. Oh, I think it's, it's quite hard. Do you? Mm. Yeah. And first of the series, of course, for me, is the most important. I like to get off to a good start. OK. Ali. Right. Very right. close. Once again, very, very close. Very close? Yeah. But um, the winner for today is. Yes. Welcome. Well done. No, no really? <laughs> <laughs> they find yours too rich. Too rich? Yeah. No, don't look so fucking smug. No, yeah, you maybe have a job tomorrow. Come on, hey, yeah? come on. Come oh, on. You can cut it in the kitchen. Will you do me a favour? Yeah. Fuck off out of here now. <laughs> yes? Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Cold dear. Wait, Jesus that. Christ. <laughs> Time for a bit of sanity. Here are the pigs. Come on, guys. Quick. Let's go. Quick one. Oh, um, uh, Jack, come here, quick. Hold what on. are we getting? Pigs. Right. How much space do you think they need? Two. Look. Lots of space. Oh, Jack, is that enough room? You're the little pig. Yeah. Legally, a pig pen needs to be no smaller than the length of the pig. But I'm following Hugh's advice and giving them a whopping 70 square metres. The area for the pigs. Is that enough space for the pigs? Yeah. Now listen, you know they're going to be sleeping out here, OK? And they're going to be getting nice and fat. OK? And once they get nice and fat, guess what we're going to do to them? Eat them? Yeah. We're going to have the most amazing bacon sandwich. Ready? Yeah. Stop there, Jack. Look how much room they've got. See, I can see Tana's face thinking, this is my, this, this is my garden. It was looking very pretty and very lovely, um, but Gordon's very persuasive. The only way to get this into the ground is actually think it's anti-war Thompson's head. <laughs> the pig pen is nearly ready, so we're off to see top Berkshire breeders, Christine and Kevin, to bring home the bacon. Look at that. They are beautiful. These are rare, unique, and the flavour of these things are extraordinary. Oh, these are fantastic pork pigs. Uh, Do you want to yeah. see some little ones? I'd love to yeah. see the little ones. Come yes. on, then, let's see some little ones. We bring them in. <laughs> oh, oh. Leo, quick. Oh, look at this. There you go. Wow, it's two days old, Lily. Megan, you're attached to that one already, aren't you? Dear, oh dear. Now. Oh dear. Hello. Oh, hello. Now, you are a very luscious baking sandwich now. <gasps> look at you. Look at them. They're, they're beautiful. They're very cute, aren't they? No? The Berkshire pig would be a good choice of pig for Gordon because it is that little bit smaller, but the Berkshire is a particularly friendly pig and you can feel safe to have it around children. We won't be taking these little piggies home. They need to stay with their mother until they're eight weeks old. Now we have to decide which two we're going to have. I want to serve pork as the final meal of the series. 
So working backwards from the optimum slaughtering age, Christine has recommended two 12-week-old girls. Now, you need to think about when you want to send these pigs off to the butcher. You don't want an overfat pig. No, 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 no. no. But you need the nice rounded bottoms. Yes. This one here, the, you know, two, two... Yeah, that's so nice, that good one thing. Do you think? Yeah. That one and that one, yes, shall we? Yeah. Should we put them in the back? Yeah, right. Tony, I'll get the. Um, where's the board? Watch out, guys. Let's go, guys. Hello. Good. Here we go. Yeah. Yay. Yay. It has to be the perfect way, from a chef's point of view, to start with a raw ingredient, nurse it, wow, then eat it. You can't get any better than that. I want you to start thinking about some names. Bangers Either way, and okay? mash, Daddy. That's it. Bangers I and think mash. Trini and Susanna. Hey, yeah, one's got a fat ass. One's got small nipples. OK, Gordon, monsieur? Yeah, two seconds, Nigel, let's go. OK. OK, the reason for the desserts are 13 people refuse to pay for the desserts. 13? 13. Yeah. What they said is too acidic. Too acidic? Yeah, and what? over juicy. Over juicy? Right. Fucking hell, uh, they're taking a the piss. Some people moan about absolutely fucking anything, yeah. 16 diners refused to pay for their starters, 9 refused to pay for the main, and 13 didn't pay for the pudding. So, of the 150 plates of food served, only 112 were paid for. It started off slightly shaky, and for a bunch of amateurs to come into this kitchen tonight and then pull it back through the main, hats off. And Nigella, thank you. <laughs> promise me you'll stick to butchery. Yeah, yeah? I will, yeah. Don't get a restaurant. <laughs> okay, thanks. Fucking good to see you smile, you know. Yeah. Because I'll yeah. tell you what, for a small guy, you've got a big pair of bollocks. <laughs> On next week's show, there's a new amateur brigade in the kitchen. Why are you so fucking chippy? I'm not chippy, mate. Right, Gordon. Gordon. James, I'd be greatly appreciated for the next 20 minutes. Gordon. Gordon. I'm not your fucking mate. Okay, right, Gordon. And I get some expert help to judge celebrity chef's recipes. Right, Ainsley, get your big fucking chops in there.